Mmm, is that Mocha? Back off. Whoa, you're grumpy this morning. His aunt's in town, so he's crashing at my house this week. Scored the top bunk, too. No way. You get to have a sleepover party for a whole week? A what? A sleepover. You know, staying up late, renting movies, eating tons of junk food. That's what we're supposed to be doing? Duh. That's why they call them sleepover parties. You've never heard of a sleepover party before? No? So we can have one tonight? Whatever, as long as we eventually end up sleeping. Hey! <laughs> guess what tomorrow is? Jonesy and Nikki's anniversary! What do you mean? They've only been dating for, like, three months. Exactly three months. It's so major! I guess it is pretty cool. <gasps> oh my gosh, there he is! There who is? Zane? The one I've been trying to get to notice me for a week? The one who works at Belts, Belts, Belts? I'll be right back. I wonder what flavor I should get. Mmm, those smell good. Fresh from the oven, huh? The chocolate chip are really good. Uh, yeah. Hey, so do you like your new job? One pecan glaze, please. Okay, so I guess I'll see you later. Bye. That was ugly. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God, I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast You gotta make the good times last The good times last He literally doesn't know I exist. Oh, crash and burn, huh, Caitlin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for noticing. Oh, that girl is so annoying. Just ignore her. What? Never mind. Guys, you made it! <laughs> Uh, yeah. We make it here every day? No, I mean you made it to three months! Do you know what she's talking about yet? Your anniversary? It's tomorrow? Oh. oh. Took us a minute to get it, too. Is this something that I missed and I'm already in trouble for? Because if it is, I can explain. Relax, Jonesy. I didn't know it was our anniversary either. Phew. So, uh, do you want to do something? Sure. I guess. Oh, you have to celebrate. And to get you started, ta-da! See, there's a three for three months. Wow, you really need a boyfriend. I have one. Well, not yet, but soon. I even had a t-shirt made. I'm speechless. I am actually without words. I know, cute, right? Green's his favorite color. Um, uh, nope, still nothing. Aren't you supposed to be working at that new pottery store? You mean no other clay? I'm taking a strategic break. There's a birthday party there right now. You do not want to be around seven-year-olds making pottery. I know. Let's have a pillow fight. Let's pick out an ice cream. Dude, what are you doing? Watching movies about chicks having sleepover parties? Huh. So what do you got there? Um, girls just want to have slumber. Giggling after midnight and sneaking out. No, no, no. If you're gonna do this, here's what you need. Pajama apocalypse. There's a guy at the window, and my personal fave, sneaking out to the sneakening. The sequel's better than the original? You trust me on this or not? Uh, okay. You know I love Jude, but being around him 24-7 at work, at school, and now at home is starting to drive you postal. Hey, you're supposed to braid each other's hair and circle cute guys in your yearbooks. Can we do that? 
So what are you gonna get Nikki for your anniversary? What? I have to get her a gift? Caitlin seems to think so. But what? <laughs> I have no idea. It's not that big a deal, is it? It is one quarter of a whole year. It's the beginning of a long-term relationship and a serious commitment requiring a symbolic gift. I'm in a relationship? Yes! After three months, it becomes a relationship. Everyone knows that. Whoa, so I'm officially in a relationship. Oh, gotta run. Zane goes on his washroom break at 11.15 every day. I'm gonna try to cut him off. Just when I think she's got a handle on this guy thing? I know. Wham! It's gone. <laughs> Hmm. Can I help you, young lady? No, thanks. I'm fine. Are you lost? Nope. Uh, what is it, miss? Do you have to go? Then you're going to have to vacate this area. You're loitering outside a public lavatory. But I have business here. I thought you said you didn't have to go. Okay, I'm waiting for this cute guy to come out so I can talk to him. Is this the cute guy? No! Well, yes, but please don't... Son, this young lady says she's waiting to meet you. Is this true? Well, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? I have to go. Excuse me. I guess she really had to go. How can I ever face him again? At least he noticed you. Hey, what's up? Don't. Well, I got Jonesy's gift. A DVD? Not just any DVD. The director's cut of guys doing dumb stunts. No, no, no. That's way too small. It is? Yes. You have to get him something that says, you are really special. But he is. I mean, well, what do you think? I guess she's the expert. Fine. I'll look for something else. I've got to go. Hang in there. Bye. Caitlin? Uh, she's not here. Oh, that's too bad. I was gonna ask her out. You were? Why? I thought you were really cute back there, you know, at the washrooms. Wow. Really? Definitely. So, uh, your answer is... Yes! 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 Cool. Pick you up at six. I have no idea what to get Nikki. What if I get her the wrong thing? You could make her some pottery. Is that a nice enough present? I used to make all my mom's presents and she liked them. And it's free! Bonus! Except I've never actually made pottery before. No sweat. I learned how to make bowls at camp one year. I can teach you. Sweet. Hey, hey. So what kind of sleeping bag do you need? Just something to camp out on the couch with until Jude goes home. Here you go. So, did you find something else for Jonesy? Check it out. Whoa, you got him an MP3 mini? Wow. Will you, uh, excuse me? But what about your sleeping bag? Uh, right. Nikki, are you crazy? This is way too expensive. You don't get a guy something this big after three months. He'll totally freak him out. I will? Why? It's too much pressure. He'll think you're, like, in love with him or something. Are you? No. I, I mean, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> Guess what? Zane asked me out on a date! <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to get ready. So, back to these presents. You have to get each other gifts that are the same value. Otherwise, it'll throw off the whole balance of power in the relationship. I'll go see if I can find out what Jonesy's getting you. Oh, this is worse than a calculus exam. You're squeezing the clay too hard, dude. Let your fingers be light. Look, I'm trying to be gentle. I've never done this before. Okay, here, relax your hands. Now start from the bottom. See? Wow, check it out, it's working. What are you doing? Nothing. So, uh, how about those leaves? Yeah, how about them? <laughs> nice. I've got to clean that up. Sorry, dude. 
What do you think? I made it myself. Looks like a breast. What? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does, dude. You made Nikki a boob bowl? <laughs> what are you laughing at? You made the lid. Jonesy, I just saw what Nikki's getting for you. What's with the breast? It's not a breast. It's a useful bowl for keeping stuff in. Yeah, in the shape of a breast. Well, I think it's a sweet gift. Anyway, so what's Nikki getting me? An MP3 mini. Wow, that's big. Now my gift sucks. Yeah. I thought you said it was sweet. Compared to an MP3 mini, it sucks, dude. Nikki must really like me to get me an MP3 mini. What does that mean? It means welcome to relationship land, population two. So I'm gonna be stuck with one girl for the rest of my life? Try not to look at it as a death sentence. Think of it more as life without parole. Ever. Ah, how did this happen? I knew it. What am I gonna do? Well, you do really like her, right? Yes! So you could keep dating her and see how it goes. Okay, so suppose I'm gonna give this a shot. What now? You're seriously gonna need a better present. Psst, psst. Caitlin, over here. Hello? <gasps> what? Shh. We have to talk to you. <laughs> we know about your little crush on Zane. You can't like him. But I do. You can't. Why not? Trisha and Zane used to go out, but he brutally ditched her before the grade eight dance for Hillary Sorkin just because she got braces. Trisha was devastated. <laughs> so, you see why you can't go out with him? No, not really. Mm. You don't do that to another girlfriend. But Trisha and I aren't even friends. You regardless, you can't go out with him. Cancel your date tonight or face social suicide at this mall. <laughs> Worse than I thought. You have to take that MP3 mini back or you could scare Jonesy away for good. Well, what should I get him? Something small. Small. Right. I can do that. Guys, I need your help. Mandy and Gwen just told me I can't date Zane because Trish used to like him. Please, she's just jealous. He doesn't even like her anymore. Oh, you don't know the power of this girl. She can be so evil. Like she's gonna do anything. I once bought the same sweatshirt as Trisha did and she snuck into my locker during gym class and cut a hole in it. <laughs> Caitlin, you can't let her push you around like this. Yeah, you finally got Zane's attention. You have to go out with him. You're right. Okay, I'm going. I warned her. She is going to love this. One personal video game player with instant message capabilities. A fine choice. Here's your total. Ouch. Uh, Jude, you got some cheddar I can borrow? <laughs> what? You're the one who said I needed to get something better. Didn't know I was gonna have to pay for it. You shouldn't buy toys you can't afford. Yeah, it's not for me, okay, Yoda? It's for Nikki. This relationship stuff is expensive. <laughs> You had a crush on me last fall? I didn't think you knew I existed. Well, I didn't, until you slammed your locker door into my face. <laughs> hey, spicy spring roll! Oh, we didn't order those. That gift from Pretty Lady at the other table. Hey! <laughs> oh, that's nice. She must have changed her mind. About what? Nothing. Are you okay? Hot. It'll distract you from the pain. You're playing with fire, Caitlin, and you're going to get burned. How'd they know you'd get this cookie? The Kaiser from Trisha! Oh, she's good. But let's see how she likes this. Oh, it is so on. <laughs> it was so great. And the best part of the whole date was we bumped into Trisha again at the movies. Sounds really special, I guess. It was. <laughs> so, how was the sleepover party last night? Awesome. You can stay up until five if you eat enough hot fudge. <sighs> so, how was it really? He braided my hair. This is kind of my fault, isn't it? <gasps> Caitlin, the boyfriend stealer? Oh, I told you she was evil. They're everywhere. 
Hey guys, what's up? Trish is ruining my life. Right, I saw the posters. You know what? I'm gonna get her back. Caitlin? Zane, do you want to have lunch with me today? Definitely. Great, see you then. Cool. Ha! Let's see how she likes that. Well, I'm glad nobody's fighting over me. Is he wearing your clothes? There are s'mores all over his. Why don't you exchange your gifts now? <laughs> Fine. Jonesy, you first. Okay. Well, here's the first one. <gasps> it's a personal video game player. <gasps> this is a really big gift. And he made you something, too. Well, I did have some help. Wow, oh, it's a... Uh... Is that a breast? No, it's a boob. I, I mean, it's a bull. Okay, Nikki, your turn. Oh, no, no, we really don't have to open mine now. It's just a little something. <laughs> it's gum. It's a big baseball chew. Your favorite? It's a six pack. Wow, this is uncomfortable. I've got to get to work. I thought you were just giving her that breast thing. I changed my mind. It's all Wyatt's fault. He told me what to get her. What were you thinking? What happened to that MP3 mini? I told her to take it back because Jonesy was freaking out. How did you know that? Because I was spying on you. But that's what Nikki really wanted to get me, right? Well, that one was kind of Caitlin's idea. <laughs> oh, I've got to go too. Later, guys. So, we kind of blew that one, huh? Right out of the water. If no one wants this, I'll take it. Focus! Sheesh. We have to fix things between Nikki and Jonesy. We do? Yes, this is all our fault. I know. Let's send them on a date. Yes. Wyatt, can you guys bring Jonesy to the movies at 7.30? You got it. Caitlin, grab mushy movie tickets and I'll grab flowers. Let's move. Two for your most romantic movie. Sorry, I can't serve you. You've been blacklisted. What? But these tickets aren't even for me. They're for my friends. Okay, but don't bother trying them at the gate. Trisha's second cousin works there, and he's real loyal. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! <gasps> Not the khaki bar, too! I tried to warn you. Trisha can be very influential. So can I. <gasps> ah! Oh, she's killing my social life. Can you have your meltdown outside? Trisha threatened to boycott the khaki barn if we let you in here. Oh, fine. Come on, Nikki. Where are we going? Oh, what is this, a setup? Shush. We messed up your anniversary, and now we're going to fix it. Whatever. Oh, fine. How could you get me gum? What does that say about our relationship? Shh. I am so sick of that word. And, and why are you basing everything on some stupid gift? Shh. An MP3 mini wouldn't have been stupid. Well, maybe I wouldn't want you to freak out over being stuck with one girl or anything. Yeah, yeah, we're going. That's it. This anniversary is over. Fine by me. She can't do this to me. I've got to make her change her mind. Okay, if you want to get her to stop messing with you, you're going to have to remain calm and nice. Remember, she's just doing this because her ego's been bruised. Oh, Trisha, can we talk? Wow, good fake smile. Uh-oh. You can't have all the boys in the mall. Oh, yeah? Just watch me, Lemonhead. Let go of my hair! What is going on here? Back off, Zane. This isn't about you. Yeah, it's between me and Lemonhead. Stop calling me that! You know what? I think us dating would just get in the way of your fight with Trisha. I'm out of here. Are you happy? You made him break up with me. Actually, I think you did a pretty good job on your own. You can let go of my hair now. Ooh. Well, so much for calm and nice. So? So, I was thinking, what if we try... We should break up. What? I don't think I'm ready to be in this big relationship. 
It's just this anniversary stuff. But that's just it. I don't want the Nikki and Jonesy relationship to get between us. We've been friends since we were four. Yeah, and I've had a crush on you since I was 14. Really? Yeah. This is gonna sound really lame, but I thought we kind of had something, I don't know, like special between us. There is. I'm not saying forever, just for now. Okay? Okay. We are so hooked up for tonight. What's in the bag? Scary horror movies and enough cookie dough to make us throw up. You're still having sleepovers? You said your aunt left two days ago. She what? Uh-oh. Was I not supposed to say that? I haven't slept in four days. I'm going home for a nap. Alone. But dude, I've got cookie dough. So what about you and Jonesy? You're really okay with this whole breakup thing? Mm-hmm. Maybe one day when things aren't so complicated. Where is Jonesy? Probably getting fired. There were a lot of complaints from parents about that breast bowl. 